All right, this lady called us about a unit we put in about three years ago. And she was concerned that it would not cool past about down below 77 or 78 when it was 94 degrees outside. So I came over, checked the refrigerant, see if we had a leak or whatever's going on. Get the machine open. And I'm seeing this. And I'm thinking, yeah. I think I see, you know, why it's not cooling now. And then I look around to the back side of it. Pretty bad. So, I think I can see now why it's not cooling. So, we're going to clean this thing out and give them a little talk about maintenance and uh, maybe even yard maintenance. I don't know, but. Anyway, I'm going to use this sprayer, and I really like this thing. Hudson Never Pump. And cut it on, and it's rechargeable, and it only runs when you squeeze the handle. So I'm going to move this. this out of the way and show you how I like this thing. And I really like this sprayer for some of the boys. And then everybody says the spine fins are so tough to clean. And I just face this thing upward. Keep in mind, I'm using a mild cleaner that won't destroy the finish here. And will it clean 110% with coil cleaner? Probably not. But my back flushing that I do with the hose from the inside should take care of it and uh, we'll shine some we'll shine the camera and get some footage up inside of it after we're done just to just to see exactly how clean I get it without taking it apart and I know we got these haters gonna hate everybody's yelling about how hard it is to clean a spine thin coil doesn't give me that hard a time with this thing, but I'm going to put the camera down and get all of it coated good, and we'll start flushing it out and go from there. It's starting to foam up a bit, and uh should be foaming up inside of it as well. I'm going to let this sit about five minutes while I get the hose around here and the fan lid off of it. Then we're going to rinse it out and fire it back up and see what we can do. Okay, I think it's probably foamed up all it's going to. We may have to do this a couple of times. But, there you can see that thing is really, really nasty. So it's going to take some work to get it rinsed. I 
but as you can see it will it will come clean so let's get to work and see what we can do all right we've foamed it up and back flushed it twice as you can see it's quite a bit better than it was she's pretty clean now let's make sure up inside of it is clean so I'd say we're ready to put it back together get the outside of it rinsed off and get it back up and running and see what we got all right we got it back up and running uh, wasn't able to get any footage of the uh, gauges or anything while we were setting the charge again and, which it was pretty close really just cleaning it out was the worst thing it had to have the homeowner was hanging around asking a lot of questions up and running looks like that cleaner did dull the finish a little bit but maybe they'll learn not to neglect and abuse this thing so much and take a little better care of it she says a uh, landscaper's coming over tomorrow to clear this out and put a rock bed around it and stop grass and plants and stuff from growing up but we'll see it'll probably be covered up in a year or two when they call me back with it not working but I hope not. Thanks for watching.